Hi guys, in today's video we are going to do a bit of a fish room vlog, show you some of the stuff that's been happening over the last eight weeks since I've actually shown you any of my fish room. I know we did the tour of mats and we did the auction, but it's the end of the month so let's do a fish room vlog. I am going to show you as much as I can, it's probably going to, it may go into another video, but anyway we'll see how it goes and we'll just show you some of the good stuff that's been happening in the fish room, so let's do it. Okay, so first thing we're going to look at is the upgrade that the Jags have had. So, you've, I've, listen, I've featured these fish loads lately, so I won't spend too much time going over this, but I think it was really good to show you, for all those people that have been watching the videos of these two stuck in a two-foot by two-foot cube, that actually we've now managed to upgrade them, and they've got much bigger tank now. They've got a 450 litre tank all to themselves, and yeah it's just a lot better and actually you know a bit of tongue-in-cheek bit of fun with those videos but they were only supposed to be in that tank for literally a couple of days but obviously they had the spawn i'm happy now that they're in here and they seem nice and happy which i mean i've always found with my jags that they're quite hardy fish you could probably stick them in a two foot by two foot cube and leave them there because they're just so such a hardy fish like i said but you don't want to do that, do you? You want them to have the room, and you know, and as you can see, there's a lot more room in this tank, and we've just set it up like very simple, just somewhere for them to spawn, because they're going to spawn no matter what. So yeah, but yeah, upgrade for the jags, and like I said, I'm not going to spend too long on this part. But aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just stunning, stunning, stunning fish? If you're an eagle-eyed viewer, and you'll you'll probably know is that this tank was for the Etra Spear. We've upgraded the Etra Spear, they've gone into a bigger tank. So, not I mean, not a massive tank, but it's a bigger tank than this one. So that enabled me now then to do this for the Jags. Just a note on that, I mean, I am in talks with Matt at Matt's Fish Shed on getting a six foot tank very soon. So hopefully we'll have the six foot tank very soon, which will also give me, give me even more room for my fish. And then I am, spin you around open here so these are this is the fourth one four foot four foot and a three foot i want to put a six foot rack down there with two six foot tanks on um, i can't really go any higher than that so two six foot tanks there will be amazing and that just then gives me so much more room and get to a space where i'm then prioritizing the fish that i've got because i have brought so many new fish into the fish room and probably bring well not probably definitely bringing more fishing too quick than tanks coming in if that makes sense so it's making me it's giving me situations where i am having to move stuff about which is not ideal but i just want to start getting into the new year and settling down so anyway said i wasn't going to spend as long on this tank so let's move on to show you something else that's happened in the fish room all right so this is something else that's happened in the fish room as well we have moved one of my pairs because i do now have two pairs and if you watch my shop tour of matt's fish head you'll know that obviously i dropped a little hint in there that i was taking that pair of nicaraguans home i do love this species this is my original pair and the male's got a bit of tattered fins and that was the Neutropolis that did that to him. It's not fully grown back, but we still love him. And he used to have another female which he bred with, which we lost. And then I got this other female here, obviously when I went to visit Bill. So obviously, you know, I think I mentioned on one of my other videos about the angels that I weren't bothered about breeding fish through the winter or worrying about obviously potential energy crisis prices and all that stuff but I've just thought you know what the winter's going to be it's going to be a bit boring you know I'm still recovering from my knee so I thought I'd set myself a couple of new projects up so I've put this pair of Nicaraguans in this tank to see what they do they've only been in here about a week but do you know what let's see what they do it doesn't matter if they do doesn't matter if they don't but I just wanted to give this guy a little bit of his own space because he's always in communities and yeah just see see if we can get them to pair off more than anything so they're in a 30 inch tank so it's not a massive tank but we'll keep an eye on him i mean he's never ever been aggressive to her ever so 
obviously now in a, in a situation where they're on their own it's very different but she is stunning isn't she just check her out lovely so yeah we'll see how they go i'll obviously keep you updated yeah just a little project to go into the winter with we'll see how they do i do love this female though she's only young she's only small but yeah we'll see how they do anyway let's move on to another tank right so these two tanks here you'll if you remember that one there had the pair of multifacet artists in and that one there had the carpenters cichlid in so the multifacet artists are all right they've been moved into another tank but this tank here sad news is i did lose the carpenters and i just came down one morning about a month ago and he was just dead there was no signs of anything he was very stressed out in this tank obviously i've said that before in other videos and if i if, if i reflect and look back i'm not really i've not really had much luck with carpenters and you know another story that's another for another time my water is very soft so some american cichlids just don't like it and that's I'm starting to think now is that the carpenters so I won't be getting any more carpenters while I live in these houses anyway so right now these tanks do look empty but they're not empty so I'm gonna put you on pause and when the fish come out I'll show you what fish are in these tanks all right so a few weeks ago I did go to wharf after I'd lost that carpenter and I am sorry about the glare on this tank it's not that great but this is just to show you what I've got and this is the Amphilophus lion eye so I did get two which is why the dividers in the tank there is another one there that is definitely male I do believe to be honest that they are both male but there is the slightest of black spot on the dorsal fin of this one but it is very very slight so who knows but we we got them I had a really good chat with Graham and Alan at Wharf on the day I spent a bit of time there and also a massive thank you to them guys which is you know they're always especially Alan I mean all the guys at Wharf are great but Alan and Graham are always really helpful to me and I can never ever praise them enough that's the male possibly female and then the other guy is in here hiding so he's gone round the back of there see in there so yeah not the best footage to be fair and the camera's flying about everywhere but a brand new species for me Amphilophus and you know I love the Amphilophus so yeah when I saw these in Wharf I thought why not I mean listen let's face it this tank could have housed other fish that I've got but you know and I speak to a lot of you out there, you're the same, you go and buy a new fish and sometimes that's the problem and I'm sorry you can see the actual flaw in the video but I just wanted to show you but yeah. So I did talk about this tank before and I am going to show you what's in this tank next week because this is something very very special and has had an impact on me which I will explain in the next video so we're going to wrap this one up now guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, lots of good things happening and lots of good things to come, but we just need to take it a bit at a time now. Christmas is coming and stuff like that. So anyway, I just want to say a massive thank you for anybody that shows me support, which engagement with the channel means a lot. If you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, consider subscribing, it's free of charge. You click the subscribe button and you ping the bell, but it's totally your choice, but it would be very much appreciated. I did mention that other tank at the end of the video and I will show you that tank. It is something very, very special and it's something that is part of the way of thinking that I'm going right now with my whole fish keeping scenario. But more on that in the next video. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to see you all on the next one.